let me quickly tell you what crowdfunding is all about. As the name suggests, crowdfunding is all about going after a lot of people and raising small amounts of money. So say you have an idea and you want five lakhs. Now, you could go to one person and say, give me five lakhs. Or you could go to 500 people and get 1,000 rupees each. So that's what is crowdfunding. Now, in crowdfunding, since people are giving smaller amounts, like 500, 1,000, 5,000, they're not really worried about getting a monetary return because it's just too small an amount, right? I mean, it's probably sacrificing one Friday's beer or coffee at Cafe Coffee Day, right? Um, so, what do they get in return? Since this is also not charity, and these are the guys who are coming forward and help you make your dream possible, what you give them back is rewards in the form of limited edition or special access to your project that they're funding. So say, you're a filmmaker, and you're making a film, and you go on Wishberry and say, this is my idea, and come help me guys make, make this happen. In return, say if you give me 500 bucks, you'll get a link to watch the film first. Say if you give me 2,000 bucks, I will invite you to the screening of my film. Say if you give me 5,000 bucks, you can meet the cast and crew and hang out with them. So these are the kind of tan intangible rewards which really money can't buy. It has to be offered uh, for you to fund it. So this is the way people incentivize other people to back them in their ideas. Now this must be sounding absolutely unbelievable, right? Like something, this can, that something like this can actually happen. And before I stepped out and started doing this, I used to get a lot of these glances about, you know, why are people funding and why should they fund? And this is not going to work in India. India does not have any kind of philanthropy. People just fund religion. This is not going to happen in India, right? Let me tell you an interesting fact. Crowdfunding actually started in 1976 with the first film, Manthan. It was Amul's first ad film. And five lakh farmers gave two rupees each to make this film happen. Because, you know, the ad filmmakers did not have money at that time. So, this is what is crowdfunding all about. If you notice, the film's poster says, not just some producer presents this film, but five lakh farmers of Gujarat present Manthan. That's the power of crowdfunding. Now, what has crowdfunding done in 2012? On Wishberry, around 300 projects have raised over 10 crores from 15,000 people across the world. And what's beautiful is that 70% of this money has come from within India. People like you have funded these films and interesting projects. Now let's look at which are some of these remarkable projects that people made happen. Gunga Pehelwan. It's a documentary film made by, made by three MBA graduates. They wanted to talk about this deaf wrestler in Haryana who has got India three gold medals, but nobody knows about him. So they were like, okay, this is bad. We should tell his story to the people. And they ended up making this film. They raised about 3 lakhs from 142 people to uh, uh, launch in the cinemas. And not only that, they ended up receiving a national award for this documentary in 2014. <laughs> Menstrupedia. It's India's first comic book to bust uh, myths of menstruation. Some of you must have heard about this. What is great about this entire story is that these two NID graduates uh, were obviously hunting for investment before they went on... Uh, Wishberry to raise their initial funding. And obviously the people who the investors thought that, you know, this is not going to be a saleable idea. This is a taboo topic. Nobody's going to read this comic book. So they said, okay, let's just go crowdfund this. They raised five lakhs from 175 funders. And after that, after making a lot of noise about this, um, PNG took notice and came on board as a partner and said, why just India? Let's take you all across the world, and so now they're available in regional languages, in Spanish, in Afrikaans, and everywhere. <laughs> Punya Koti. This is going to be India's first film, animated film, in Sanskrit. This was funded by over 200 people. 
and they raised a remarkable amount of 41 lakhs because animation films cost a lot of money. <laughs> so these are the kind of interesting things and actually, sorry, I just forgot about this. This is my favorite. It is uh, lovability, uh, world's first matchmaking mobile app for the differently abled people. This was funded by five lakhs. Uh, this was funded by 61 people. So, who are these people? Who are these people who are vested in another person's idea? And why are they funding this? Because they're not getting anything in return, the typical belief that we have, right? So, we thought, let's go out and ask them, because even we were very perplexed. So, one person said that I funded Vasudha's album because she, I thought she deserved a shot. I, I funded Gunga Pehlwan because I want everyone to know about that wrestler. I have two sisters and hence found a personal connection to the larger problem addressed by Menstrupedia. I funded Lovability because it was truly a unique idea and it was needed. I backed Punya Koti because it will be a great way for our children to learn about an ancient language. All of them are essentially saying one simple thing that we forget. It's a great idea. They love it. And that's as simple as that. You know, that's why they want to back you. And they didn't think about it, but they want to cheer for someone who did. So this is exactly as simple as that. There is no, um, there is nothing that they are thinking about. They are not being critical. They are not thinking that, okay, this is not going to work. And why is this guy doing this? They actually believe. And now it's time for you all to believe that people believe. Now, all these artists were definitely raising funds from um, their fans and followers, but what, they, what completely shocked them was their personal network also funded. That one school kid that they had a fight with in school, that one college buddy who did not share notes, that corporate bully that they found and would never get them promotions. All of them, when asked, gave the money. So it's really just a myth, guys, that people don't uh, fund or the people don't help. And that's what's just beautiful about this entire crowdfunding thing. It's not just about the money also. Crowdfunding obviously helps you get the money that you need. But what is more important is two very, very commercial benefits that people forget about crowdfunding. So before crowdfunding, Say I was a filmmaker and I wanted to make a film. And I obviously don't have the big daddies to support me. So what do I do? I keep working for years and years and save up money and then go ahead and make my dream film. And then I put it up on maybe an online channel and I hope that PVR will take it and I hope that it sells and people will pay ticket for it, right? But now with crowdfunding, we have reversed this entire thing. With crowdfunding, we have said, Give a teaser of your film that you want to make on Wishberry and then ask people that if you like this, I'm going to go ahead and make it if you fund me. And in return, what you're giving them? 500 bucks, watch my link, watch the link of my film. So you've essentially sold your film. You have essentially sold your film at a premium, in fact, because that person would have paid just 200 bucks for your ticket. So that is what's very interesting, that people are actually... Um, one, one of the musicians said that it was funny that people were not buying my music on iTunes, but when I asked them to fund my album, they all gave money. <laughs> Which also brought us to an interesting uh, understanding that artists and their fans do not want a commercial relationship. The fan is not just a buyer of an artist's art. He's a believer of his thought process. Right? And art is expression of your thought process. You think about an idea, you feel for it, you go and make it. So when you go out in the public, instead of saying, let's just uh, uh, buy my film when it's made, just involve the people in making this happen. And if you remember in the Mughal Darbars, when the dancers were there and when the singers were there, all they got was patronage for their arts. The rich people would give money for their creative ideas, to write poetry, to put up a dance piece together. So what all we're doing in 2016 is very simple. We're just bringing back patronage to the arts, thanks to the internet. I want to bring up an interesting quote by uh, an act actor, Manav Kaul, who raised money for his film, Albert Pinto Ko Gussa Kyo Aata Hai, part two. <laughs> um, he said that he raised about 40 lakhs, and he went ahead and said that some people gave lakhs 
some even a hundred rupees, there were no meetings, no agreements, everything in crowdfunding is based on trust. This brings me to the last thing about uh, my conversation today. Why did we even start this? Why did I go ahead with my co-founder and start something that had no precedent in India? It was obviously a choice, right? Uh, I landed up in McKinsey, um, luckily without uh, any MBA or an engineering degree. And uh, I found out about crowdfunding during my corporate stint. And crowdfunding in the US by this time had become a hit. Everyone in the US was using crowdfunding to make their ideas happen. And I thought, wow, this is a lifeline to put India on the creative map of the world. This is how artists will come out and actually go ahead and will be able to do something. So I had a choice between going ahead and doing crowdfunding or just moving on in my corporate life, move to the US, become an NRI. I am glad that I chose the former because crowdfunding in the last four years of launching Vishperi has changed my perspective about India. I discovered that people in India have great ideas. I discovered that people in India care about other people. And I discovered that people in India would love to come and support other people's ideas. And it's time that all of us should stop thinking and just start believing. Thank you.